13th is supposed to be uh, Black Omen Day, a uh, bad time day, all the negative, so I don't have to elaborate on that. Everybody knows about it. But the whole point is that the origin of it, and many people have said it came from uh, the Crusades, it came from a time of the priests, it came from a time when they captured a lot of Greeks and stuff and sla uh, said they're going to slaughter them, that the Masons going through it again. But I'll give you a whole different spiel. I've heard all of those, and I haven't heard this one, and so this is what I want to share. Audience, and that is that the Triskaidekaphobia, which is the fear of the number 13, Triskaidekaphobia, came from the 13th planet. And the impact that it had on this solar system when it was destroyed. We're still suffering from that great holocaust, that great catastrophe, that wonderful thing that got rid of our enemies and brought us more. <laughs> so let me run that through now. Triskaidekaphobia is supposed to be based on the exploded planet Maldek. And Maldek was said to be the 13th planet, which means we should have had the 12 other planets. We have never been told that most sun systems that are not binary have 12, have, uh, 10 planets. And then usually, after a while, they get to 12 planets. After that, they usually graduate. So that held back the graduation of our own Earth and slowed up its progress because when that happened, a lot of the deluge and things came into our inner, uh, the smaller uh, planets, if you would, Venus and Earth and Mars. Now, the way that that went, that 13th planet was said to be well inhabited with advanced technology. And the people there not only got into atomic fusion, but they got into atomic fission. They not only split the atom, but they fused it. When you begin to fuse it, you get even more quantum release. You know, they have a science now called quantum mechanics. And that's interesting because, to me, the only true mechanics now is quantum and theoretical physics. Other than that, that's just called metaphysics. So rather than give metaphysics a boost, they use quantum physics and theoretical physics. Well, theoretical physics is also prospered that there seems to be something perturbating our sun, that there seems to be a wandering planet or something that every once in a while seems to make our sun go out of alignment, seems to make our whole solar system go through suffering. Well, whether that's true or not, and whether it's called Nibiru or not, we can get into that later, I want to deal with this 13th planet. The people on this planet began to uh, lose their, religion, their, their spiritual side. And then there were inhabitants on that moon of that planet. It was said that the moon of that planet was not its natural moon, or if it was its natural moon, it had been inhabited by some aliens or people who were different from them. They tried to get along with each other, but most of them were warlike, and it finally led to exploding a fission and fusion structure. I don't know whether the fission came from those on Maldek or the fusion came from those on the moon, but Maldek and its moon Malona exploded each other. One went, the other crashed, and it just caused a huge catastrophe. Uh, it did a lot to the outer planets. It set up what is now called the asteroid belt, which is nothing but the, the remnants of those two exploded giants or those two exploded uh, energy units or planets or moons or whatever you want to call them. It also sheared off the top of Mars or caused the Martians, who had an advanced science at that time too, and tried to placate those people, but it didn't work. Their scientists and their, uh, what do you want to call their... Um, People who prognosticated said that this could happen, so they were already prepared for it. Many of them had left before this happening, left our solar system, and went on to the system in Sirius, and some of them actually came into the Earth itself. Those that stayed there had to go inside, because when all of that water and all of that land mass came by there, it sheared off the top of Mars, it caused a lot of the poles of Mars to melt, and it still hasn't recovered from it. But the Martians, in turn, set up what they call two orbiting balancing satellites, Phobos and Deimos. These are the two planetoids of Mars, which are not natural. Their orbit is eccentric, and one means panic and fear. This is what Phobos and Deimos stands for. And indeed, it was put up in a time of panic and fear for what might happen to that planet, what might happen to Venus, which was supposed to be at one time a moon also, but that's another whole story, and definitely what might be happened to Terra. Terra... Sean, Gaia, these are all names for the planet we now call Earth. And unfortunately, the brunt of Earth caught most of it. Because at that time, when all of that happened, uh, it caused Mars to go dry. It sheared off most of the water area. There was a bubbling and boiling of Mars, if you would. And most of the Martians went inside, as they still do live today. And once they went inside of that, and it's been said that most intelligent life forms under a sun do not live on the surface, they go inside. Because when you're exposed to the sun and exposed to radiation fields, it causes ages and like that. So this is what the Martians not only thought about doing, but had to do to stay on Mars at all and alive. And as I say, many of them left, 
Uh, some of them came here. Some of them went to Sirius. Some of them say went to Procyon, but it's hard to know. These are the stories that go with that one. So that fear of that exploded 13th planet is what has left fear in everybody and every creature in this solar system that had to experience that. And that, to me, is a whole different way of looking at the concept of Triskaidekaphobia. I know that's new, but again, I want to go along with these other so-called uh, rational reasons for being that may seem irrational, but when you begin to look at the things that are in our system, the things that are now on Mars, you can begin to see that that might be a truism.